What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So I wanted to make this video um, really because I think this tool is being underutilized in SketchUp and I think it's very powerful. So today I wanted to make a video teaching you how to use the outliner to keep your models organized. So I know model organization doesn't sound like the most interesting thing in the world, but stick with it, watch the video. I promise using the outliner is going to make a huge difference in the way that you work within SketchUp. Um, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to uh, basically give you an easy to follow start to finish SketchUp training. So if that's something you're interested in, this is probably the easiest way to get from SketchUp beginner to SketchUp expert. So if it's if you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I look at a lot of different models um, as a part of the SketchUp Essentials, you know, looking at people's models and uh, trying to help uh, make them faster, that sort of thing. And you could almost say that the outliner is SketchUp's best kept secret. Um, it's a little menu off to the right hand side and I think a lot of people don't understand or even know that it's over here. If you don't see the outliner in your tray off to the right, you just wanna go up to Window, Default Tray, Make sure the box for outliner is checked. Also make sure your tray has been turned on. That should show up the outliner in your default tray off to the side. And so basically what it is, is any time you have a group or a component in your model, they show up inside the outliner. And so as you can see, my default model, which is a component, my me and Bonnie one, shows up inside the outliner. So basically any kind of group geometry that you have within your model is gonna show up in the outliner. So for example, if I was to come in here and I was to create a box, I was to push pull it up, and then I was to select it, and I right clicked and I made it a group, you can see how as soon as I make it a group, it shows up inside the outliner. And once it shows up inside the outliner, I can start making changes to it and adjusting it and using it to organize my model. So to start off, you'll notice that groups and components look a little bit different. So a group is gonna have an individual box right here and just an instance name. So that's basically the name of the group inside your model. So you can right click on this and go down to the option for rename and I can go ahead and call this box. And so you'll notice that when I rename this and call this box, if I click on it and select it, then the instance name up in the entity info has changed as well. And so if I come in here and I make a copy of this, so if I use the move tool in copy mode, I'm gonna get a second option in here and you can see how since the first one was named box and then I made a copy of it, the second one inherited that name as well. So the second one is also called box. And so um, you'll notice that components look a little bit different. Components have a name in here um, that's inside brackets. And so the piece that's inside brackets is the component definition name. So what that means is um, we've, t we've talked about components a little bit before, but basically objects within SketchUp that uh, are components are all linked. So if you make a change to one, you're gonna make changes to all of them. So for, for example, if I came in here and I made a copy of my me and Bonnie component, and I was to come in and I was to adjust my shirt color to something like, let's say I picked out a blue color, like this. You can see how, because these are components, when one of them changed, the other one changed as well. And so that's what makes components so powerful. But you'll notice that inside the brackets, you've got the name or the component definition of each object showing up in here. And that just indicates that those are copies of this same component. Um, in addition to that, um, if you want, if each one of these has a separate instance name, we'll talk about this a little bit more We'll talk about this a little bit later, but if each one of these has an individual instance name, so if like this one, for example, was my me and Bonnie, um, this is the one that's by the origin point. So I can enter an instance name in the entity info up above for origin. And then this one, I could call this East version or something like that. And you can see how those instance, those individual instance names will show up in here as well as the component definition. So you can use that to label these. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a minute. But basically you can adjust the information of these objects inside the outliner. And so 
In addition to showing individual object, the outliner also shows nested objects. So let's say for example that I was to take these two boxes, right click and I was to put those in a group. So now I have two boxes inside a group. And you know how usually in SketchUp in order to get to those once they're grouped you have to double click in here. And then if you wanted to edit one of these individually you'd have to double click again in order to get in here and be able to edit that. Well, what you can do instead is you can see how once you created this group inside your model, um, these show up under this overall group in the outliner. And so what you can do is you can minimize and maximize those as well as adjusting different things about that. But let's say for example that you wanted to edit just this one box, instead of having to double click and double click and double click to get inside of this, you can just double click on whatever object you want to edit in here. So this is a really great way to keep everything organized but also to give you quick access to things within your model. And so you can also rename the groups that have groups nested inside them. So like for example, if I wanted to rename this group, I would just right click on it and I would click rename. And in this case, I would rename this one boxes. So I have a group called boxes and then I have individual groups in here called box. And so let's say for example that we had a couple different kinds of geometry. So let's say I was to model a cylinder for example. And I was to go ahead and make that a group and I was to call that cylinder and then I made a copy of that one so I'm just using the move tool in copy mode well what I could do is I could right click on this one I could click make group and then I could call this group cylinders and then let's say I was to use the follow me tool in order to create a cone and then I made a copy of that over here and then I could put that in a group and we could call that one cones. So now I have three groups in here. I have a group for boxes, I have a group for cones, and I have a group for cylinders. Well, What you can do is you can select multiple different objects within the outliner by doing a shift click and then you can right click in here and you can click make group. So now what I can do is I can rename this group shapes. So what that allows me to do is that allows me to have a group that contains all of my shapes and then within that group I have a, sh a group that contains my boxes, a group that contains my cones, and a group that contains my cylinders. And so this starts making things in your models really easy to manage. So you can come in here and you can edit any of these just by double clicking on it instead of having to come out here and double click and double click and double click in order to get in here you can just find the object that you want if you've done a good job labeling everything and just edit it that way. And so you can also use this to edit different visibilities within the outliner. Or you can use the outliner to edit different visibilities within your model. And so if you remember, you can hide objects in SketchUp by right clicking and clicking the option for hide. Um, but the problem with that is if you don't have your model organized and you hide a whole bunch of stuff, it becomes really difficult to figure out what's hidden and what's in your model. So if you're not using the outliner, for example, and I come in here and I hide a whole bunch of individual things, and some of these are nested within groups, and then some of them aren't, and I hide all this stuff, what happens is you've got all this stuff in your model, but it gets a little bit difficult figuring out what's in there that's hidden and isn't hidden. Because if I come in here and do an unhide all, for example, because these objects are inside a group, they're not going to unhide. And so it's really easy to lose track of geometry in here. Well, what you can do instead is you can open up your outliner and you can see how anything that's hidden shows up in a gray text. So the stuff that isn't hidden is in this darker text. The stuff that is hidden is in this gray text. Well, what you can do is you can use this to hide and unhide different individual objects really easily. So you can see how I can come in here and I can find all of my cylinders and unhide those. If I wanted to hide, I can come in here and hide and unhide different things really quickly and really easily. And I can use this to manage all of that. And one thing to note is if you put things on a layer, so let's say for example that I was to create a layer, we'll call it, so if I was to put this group on the layer cylinders and I was to turn that layer off, 
that's not going to show up in my outliner until it gets turned back on. So hidden objects show up in your outliner. Layers that are hidden do not show up in your outliner. So um, if you just want to like get something out of the way, you just don't want to see it in there at all, you can definitely put those on different layers and just kind of hide those by turning the layers off. So another thing that's really valuable about the outliner is you can also use it to reorganize different objects. So let's say for example that I no longer wanted my cylinders group to show up within my shapes group. Well, usually what you'd have to do is you'd have to double click in here, you'd have to cut this, click out of it, and then do like a edit paste in place in order to put it in here to move it outside of that group. And that's fine, but if you're moving a lot of different things around, then it's going to take you a lot of time to do things like that. And so what you could do instead is let's say I wanted the cylinders group to just kind of stand on its own outside of this group in my model. Well, what I could do is I can click and drag this and I could just move this up into my models section. So now my cylinders are no longer inside this group. So you can use this to move things around. Let's say I wanted my boxes group to show up inside my cylinders group. I could click and drag that over here. And so this gives you a lot of versatility for moving and organizing different things. And if I messed up, if I put things where I didn't want them to be, I can just click and drag them back into that group really quickly and really easily. So in addition to that, let's say you didn't want these to be grouped in the shapes group anymore. Well, you could come in here and you could right click on this and you could explode the group so that it's not in here. Um, so it's, this is a really easy way if you need to explode things to see exactly what you're exploding. So if I do an undo and let's say for example that I no longer wanted my boxes, cones, and cylinders to be in their own group, you can see how what I'm doing is I'm doing a control click to select these and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to click explode. Well now all of those shapes are inside this group but they're not grouped in funny ways. This is one of my favorite tools inside of SketchUp. I think it's very underutilized. Um, keeping your model organized can save you a ton of time, especially if you organize your model as you go. So just get in the habit of organizing things as you go. I promise you it will save you a ton of time down the road when you're going back and making changes. That's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Are you using the outliner? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.